folks. Previously, I posted a video in reference to a survey that was taken among middle school and high school students in South Korea, and they were asked to list the enemies of the nation, which to me is a rather peculiar survey. That's another topic. And the number one enemy, Japan. Number two, North Korea, Kamiland. Number three, these here United States of America. Never mind the fact we got something like 38,000 military personnel uh, in that country willing to die for their freedoms, the freedoms of the South Koreans. Forget about that. Never mind the fact we lost 54,000 Americans during the Korean War defending their freedoms. Nah, what are you nuts? Forget about that. And never mind the fact is we don't like being number three or number two. We want to be number one on that list or any list you make up. But guess what, folks? We did move up a notch on that peninsula. Yeah, we certainly did. And the article in the Dallas Morning News right here. North Korea is teaching its students from kindergarten on up to hate Americans. That's right. Hate me, so says I. <laughs> to the North Koreans. They teach them systematically to hate America. And they were asked who the enemies of North Korea and guess what? Japan number one. Seems like you good Japanese people are number one on the hate list for both North and South. But we moved up to number two on the North Korean hate list. See? We Americans are doing better in North Korea than we are in South Korea. Now here's the part of this whole issue that really infuriates me is the comfort woman issue. The comfort woman issue is an issue between Korea and Japan and belongs in Asia. The United States was not involved in that. It, was, it has to do with women that served in concubines from the ninth, Japanese concubines for the Japanese soldiers from the 1930s to the 1945. The South Koreans say the women were forced. The Japanese say that they were recruited into those uh, positions. Now, we've heard plenty of the South Korean positions emotionally in reference to this issue. Very rare have we heard the Japanese perspective. I got that for you. It's a rational perspective. It's a 12-minute video. I have a link to it in the description. Please watch the whole video. Then you weigh, the, uh, you weigh both sides yourself to formulate your own opinion. But here's what infuriates me about this. The Korean War took place five years after the comfort issue was ended. The end of World War II. The comfort woman issue. There's this town in uh, Long Island, east of New York City, called East Meadows. And there's a park, Eisenhower Park. And the Koreans living in the area pressured the Nassau County officials East Meadow, Eisenhower Park is in Nassau County, to place a monument, a memorial to the comfort woman in that park. Yeah! It's a memorial to these women who they say were sex slaves. Wait a minute. Why is that in the United States? It had, we had nothing to do with it. But here's what's disgusting about this. It's placed right next to the monument for the 54,000 Americans who lost their lives during the Korean War. It's a Korean War issue at that spot, but they're placing something from World War II and before right next to it. Basically, when you place your monument, your memorial to the comfort women, next to the Korean War memorial, you desecrated our American Korean War monument. If you're going to come to this country to desecrate our monuments to our war heroes, to our war dead, get lost, get out, and go back where you come from because you're not wanted here. Do you understand that? I don't know how you think about it. Where's the memorial to the 100,000 to 200,000 South Koreans murdered in 1950 by South Korean troops because they feared they were communist sympathizers? Your own troops killed your own people. Where's that memorial? That memorial needs to be next to the Korean War monument because it was the same war. The comfort woman issue had nothing to do with the Korean War. You placed it there out of hate. Keep your hate in Asia. 
We have enough of our own degenerates here in the United States, homegrown, to keep our hate going. We don't need to import any from Asia. Do you understand that? You're welcome to move to this country from all over the world. But do not desecrate our war memorials, our war monuments. On one side stands the Comfort Women Memorial. On the other side, let's put one up to the 100 to 200,000 South Korean citizens murdered by the South Korean military and police. Where's that? But no, you're too busy hating other people and stop hating here. All right, folks. Did I say enough about that, kids? <laughs> it just aggravates me. And the next time I go to New York, which is going to be soon, I'm going to make a visit to that memorial. <laughs> we'll see you. God bless you. God bless America. God bless the nation you happen to be in. And God rest the souls of the 54,000 Americans who fought to keep the South Korean Peninsula free only to have their monument, their memorial, desecrated by the very same people they fought and died to keep free. <laughs>